boy Sean. Sean vs. Everybody Podcast, episode 75. Got a special guest in the building. Uh, Leah Benz, what's good? What's up? What's yeah. up? I'm excited to be here. It's oh, yeah. my first podcast, actually. Oh, so. straight up? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody who come on here to be their first podcast, they always wind up getting even bigger. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> yes. So, oh, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, we always start everything with a uh, salute me while I'm here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we wait for people to pass away. Give me flowers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But it can't be nobody in your media circle. Which, no mom, no dad, no brother, sister. If you got a man or kids, got to be somebody outside of that. So you got somebody in mind or you need me to go first? Um, somebody need that. I was just saying the other day, I feel like uh, Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know how he really did make hits. Like, yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, anytime yeah. he do a feature or anything, like, it's hits. And I was just saying, like, they need to get that man his flowers. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, really appreciate him. And it was somebody else that, uh, that always make hits. I know Tiger. Yeah. He always every time he you know he, he just always, make he always, it. Yeah, he always, yeah he, he, his song stay in the strip club. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> right? And I really feel like they deserve their flowers yeah. while they here because they really are like they're amazing. Yeah. Honestly, to now me. let me ask you this: cause I know you 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 look young. So I Twenty-five. Got, yeah, yeah, you young. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I got you about ten years. Damn old. <laughs> but no, me and my cousins are arguing because she said that in the versus battle, Chris Brown will be Usher. So is that you know thing or that's just like a. Mm. I don't, I don't know. Because I mess with Usher heavy. Eh? No, for sure. I used to love Usher when I was younger. Yeah. I used to love Usher. Um, I feel like they like they obviously the same because you know they sing, dance. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They yeah. both entertainers. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I think Chris Brown Ooh. got a little bit more poppy music than 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 that. Yeah, mm-hmm. but uh, I say it'd be close, but I gotta give it to Usher. That one the goddamn confession album itself. Yeah, whole yeah, whole and I, life. Like I was in obviously in elementary school when I Damn. came out. <laughs> and, uh, I, my sister was listening to it because my sister's four years un, uh, older than me, yeah. so I, I love that album. I ain't gonna yeah, lie, yeah, like yeah. his Damn, old stuff and you know things like that. Like I really do fuck with Usher. I'm not even about to hold you up, so yeah. that's kind of tough. I ain't gonna lie, but like you said, Chris Brown got the more popping. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like sure. his shit is really going now. Nah, yeah. Usher, he's still in the mix, but yeah. you know. Yeah. That's a, that's that's a tough call. I don't know no, about that sure. one. Hell yeah, hell that's yeah. That's a tough call. So man, I'm a, real quick. I'm gonna give uh, my shout out to my dog Joe Kane. I saw him yesterday. Uh, that nigga called me a Charlemagne of Detroit, whatever. So you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big ups to him. He told me just to stick with the podcast. Make sure I go hard on that. So he' supposed to come back on the show whenever he get done with his project. So shout out to my nigga Joe Kane, man. He a, he a cool white boy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we always start off like this. Growing up, let me know how I was. Where you from? Who was in the crib? Mom and dad, like, how was it growing up for young, uh, young Leah? Growing up, honestly, like, it was a good life. I'm not even about to lie. Like, I never, like, really, like, struggled. Like, I never experienced that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I lived in a household with my older sister. Yeah. Um brother the thing is fun fact he's really my cousin but my yeah. mother raised him so okay, yeah, he's yeah, my brother you. you know what i'm yeah, saying like sure, he sure. that's my brother he helped raise me you know what yeah. i'm saying so yeah a household with mother father sister brother yeah. um you might as well say then there my cousin lived there because he was over there every day yeah, yeah, yeah. so i was like he yeah. there. you know what i'm saying so yeah. um i know you got me from the west side right Yep, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Southfield, <laughs> Southfield, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, so, uh, yeah, you can tell, yeah, like, it was a pretty good life, like, you know what I'm saying, stayed yeah. in, I stayed in school, got good grades, you yeah. know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. had a lot of friends around the neighborhood, like, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was life growing up, honestly, you be knowing when somebody come on a show and they from the west side, why you, you say that, west side vibes, I don't know, cause really, like, <laughs> west side, west side people always make sure, like, I don't know about dudes and females, like, they gotta make sure they, they shit, they got to make sure everything about them is presentable at all times, no yes, matter you don't what know they who, doing. Yes, seriously. Like, you have to be, I say, and I had to learn that. Because, you know, you would come out the house, and like you could just be running somewhere. You're going to end up seeing somebody, yeah. you know, especially what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I can't do that. Like, it's, uh, can't get, I, I can't, can't cook, get cross out with the bonnet. I can't do that. So, um, yeah, 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 I feel like you always have to be presentable because yeah. you never know who, what opportunity may come to you when you yeah. just out who yeah, you yeah. may see. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, you got to be presentable at all times. Hell yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. So in the crib, man, I always say you get your musical influences from your parents. So who were some people you was liking just based off your mom and dad, like nothing to do with you, but just based <laughs> off your parents. Like, who were some people that they was bumping and she making pancakes, cleaning up, like... Right. Of course, you know, when you clean up, you're listening to, you know, the Mary J, mm-hmm. Anita Baker, yeah, yeah. uh, Classic. what's her name, uh, Tony Braxton, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But 
honestly, uh, shit, I grew up around listening to DM, uh, listen, have them listening to DMX, yeah. Tupac, yeah. uh, you know, Ti. Oh yeah, T. that I. type shit. You know what I'm saying? So as I was growing up listening to DMX, I'm like, damn, like you know, I just, I don't know why I always liked the aggressive yeah, rap, or like sure. I always loved the male rappers. Like yeah. I always attracted to the male rappers. I'd be like, damn, like you yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, of course, like I said, DMX, no, Pain. for sure. So like DMX, Tupac, uh, who else? So was they listening to shit uh it's a lot of motherfuckers but really like rapper wise like it yeah. was like that type shit like i said like if it was like the slow shit it was mary j anita yeah. baker tony braxton yeah. kelly uh price you know yeah, that yeah, type yeah, thing yeah. you know yeah. yeah for sure hell yeah so in school how would you as like a student would you an athlete would you a hoover would you <laughs> quiet you know so everybody knew you like how would you in school so the thing was i wasn't like I don't want to say popular. Like, it wasn't even that. I was just known. And then, well, I wasn't even popular. It was just, I had, like, a lot of friends. Like, yeah. we, I had, like, a big friend circle group or whatever. Yeah. Um, I got good grades uh, yeah. up until high school. I ain't about to lie. That's I got good grades That's up until high school. When I got to ninth grade, because the thing was, I went to Southfield schools. Okay. So, in the seventh grade, I transferred to Birmingham schools. Okay. So, Birmingham education is up there yeah, so at yeah, that yeah. point like yeah, yeah. we was behind them yeah, there you know sure. so it was kind of hard for me to catch up so when i got to high school like ninth grade like you know it was high school so i uh, shit i was kind of like fucking off not really paying attention till that first report card came yeah. my mama like <laughs> damn. damn what yeah. the fuck you been doing like you know like what like, you been chilling. doing <laughs> hey what you been doing so um i got that together you know what i'm saying so ever since then like yeah and i ran track that was my yeah. sport track okay. Okay. Ran it in elementary school, middle school, up to high school. So I took like a year or two off. Yeah. Then I tried back again in 11th grade and I was slow as hell. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like, lost all your legs. Yeah, like. Like, and I didn't think like I would lose because me not doing it, I'm not thinking it was going to go. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, ever since then, I said, well, fuck it. Like, yeah. hey, that's over with. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, no, I just I'm move sleeping, on. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> track, I hate track though because, I mean, we doing something I hate doing, like running. All in practice, like running, running, running. I tried that shit for a week and quit. Really? I'm like, I just want to See, the thing, my thing was like, you know, the uh, 100 meter dash. Like, I oh, like yeah. to sprint and do that type of shit. I wasn't the lap person because yeah. I couldn't control my breath. Like, Hell yeah, nigga, pass off shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> I couldn't do that. So, I was like, I like to do like, you know, the sprint and this and that. They tried to make me do like the field ones. You know yeah. how you jump over the, I forget what. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, I didn't like that. I didn't yeah. like it. So I would just like to run, you know. Yeah. But yeah, that shit was over. I couldn't. Yeah. I I lost to uh, what you uh, what you call the um, uh, fuck. I have a brain fart. Right. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I can't think of it. Yeah. I, I, I lost the fucking race. I yeah, lost the yeah, race, and yeah. ever since then, I'm yeah, like, like, man, fuck yeah, this. I said, fuck yeah, I just said, fuck you. Yeah, I yeah. just stopped. Yeah, now you, you, uh, so you, what high school you went to? I went to Groves. Okay, yeah, yeah, damn. Oh, Birmingham Grove, yeah. Yeah. Because they got that, uh, they got a nice hoop squad. Uh, I forgot the little nigga who went there. He, I think he go to, uh, fucking Western Michigan now. But he was cold. Cause I think Coach, uh, Coach White coached there now. And shit, I think he got left when he left King. He went over there. So shit, what, uh, what, what about you? When you start, got your own ear for music, you wasn't listening to what mom and dad mm -hmm. was playing. Like, what was some shit that, you know what I'm saying, you was rocking to, like, in high school, middle school, like... <clears throat> Oh, I was a. Uh, Besides Chris Brown, <laughs> <laughs> I was a big uh, Jeezy fan. Like oh, yeah. I love, like I love old oh, Jeezy, Gucci, yeah, yeah. Boosie, Ti. You know what? Looking at you, I should be able to know that. Cause and your rap style. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. I really. I fuck with them. Like they, that's what made me want, you know, that's what I was listening to growing up. Like, I remember yeah. I, the first song I heard of T.I. was Bring Him Out, and I heard it on the radio. Yeah. And the thing is, I'm very big on beats. Yeah. So, I heard the beat. I'm like, Shit hard. I'm not realizing, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I was just tuned in, it was like, since then. And then my sister, you know, she older. She listening to all the, uh, you know, Gucci mixtapes, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, I'm getting hip. Yeah. I'm like. I remember Gucci come on the club. Yeah. You already know. Chicks about to go there and go crazy. Okay. Like, yeah. they we used to call off work to go to his concerts. You know, he never used to show up. Or no, like, that nigga <laughs> missed a lot of Detroit concerts for sure. You know what I'm saying? Nigga always so, got rested. Fuck yes. around. <laughs> Damn. So, that's honestly who I grew up listening to. Yeah. That, that influenced me for real. Yeah. I always say that. Like, them. They influence me, okay. yeah, for sure. Now, now, stay on that. What's a song or an album that you, every time you hear it, it take you back to a time? It might take you back to when you were dating Craig. It <laughs> might take you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's a song that always paint a picture of this one particular time, good or bad? And every time you hear it, you immediately think of that shit. What's that album now? Because uh, when you mention Boosie, every time I think about that Boosie album that came out, 
once he got out of jail, I was telling this nigga, I remember riding back from Texas to Detroit, like, damn, I'm moving back to this bitch. Mm -hmm. And that whole time, I'm listening to the same Boosie out. Every time I, get a shot, I'd be like, Damn. I don't know what uh, what Boosie album it is. It's the one he had the red. Is it a red straight jacket? Okay. It was like a white background. Okay, I, don't, okay, yeah. I don't know. I don't think the album was called Mind of a Maniac. I don't know if it was. I don't know. I think that yeah. song was on there though. Okay. That album brings me back to um, high school. Okay. Like it's like really when it brings me back. It's like when I had first discovered it, or like if I was at a party, I'm like, "Damn, yeah. what's this?" You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. um, Gucci uh. Wilt Chamberlain. Okay. Uh, China, shit. You know he got the uh, Wilt Chamberlain one too, like yeah, that type yeah, shit. Yeah. So, and also uh, Jeezy's TM one o two. Was it the first one or the? It's the second one. Actually, oh. it's the TM one o two or TM one o three reloaded. Okay. That but, tape. That ain't the one he had R. Kelly in that mother, is it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, no. Jeezy, that's why I was just telling my uh, my wife like Jeezy was hard as hell, but it's like these last two three albums. <laughs> Maybe even four. It's like, dog, come on, bro. You can do uh, better yeah. than this. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't listen to it no more. I yeah. like the old him. Yeah. I like the old him. Like, yeah. the new him, like, it's certain, like, songs I fuck with, but, like, yeah. ultimately, like, how I used to be, like, oh, he just dropped. Let me go listen. Like, yeah. no, it's yeah, not yeah. that no more. I like, hear it when yeah. I hear it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I hear it when yeah. I hear it. Exactly. So, who do you think won that battle when he had, since you say you like Jeezy and Gucci? Ooh. Of course, the streets say Gucci just for showing up and playing his diss song to so that nigga on the motherfucking stage. But he you already know, know, like, Jeezy had them, like you said, Jeezy had those hits with motherfucking, um, that first album by itself. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So the thing, it was very entertaining. It was entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Hell Jeezy yeah, sure. was on his grown man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Gucci. On that page, shit like. <laughs> Whew, that, yeah, that man was a character that night. And I think he was, I, honestly, I like all Gucci old shit. His new shit is so commercial and like yeah. I don't like it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. lemonade. That I never fucked with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let me say that lemonade song's hard to me. I don't like it. That's hard to me, dog. I don't like it. I can't fuck like his like really radio shit. Yeah. But it's like I don't fuck with for real because yeah, it's so mainstream. Sure. Like it don't be like real to me like how yeah. the other shit is. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so you like that raw shit, that aggressive. Yeah. That I'm just coming and out. And Jeezy. All his club shit is hype. I love it. Like, who yeah. don't? Like, oh, yeah. fuck with his shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. honestly, I don't know who I... Oh, I, I, I don't know. They both... Yeah. I fuck with them both. Yeah. I think it was... Uh, yeah. It you was know, just, Gucci was on his petty. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It just had, had both of them out at the same time. Was it was like, amazing. Like, yeah. it was a shock to me. You know what I'm saying? But also, it was like I was cringing watching it. Like, how Gucci was coming at him. It was <laughs> yeah. like, oh, my God, yeah. man. You we just... Had motherfucking, we had watch party. Remember, we was barbecuing and shit, though. <laughs> Drinking and shit. Period. 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 Yeah. <laughs> That shit was hype as hell. Mm -hmm. Especially when certain songs come on, we get hyped them up. Hell yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, So with you, when did you like be like, man, you know what? I want to do this music shit. Like, Was it early on? Was it once you got older? Like, When, when did you want to fuck um, with the rap? So, when I was younger, like elementary type shit, I used to take Gucci raps and rap it as my own to yeah, see if people yeah. would believe like yeah. it was me. So my mom would be like... <sighs> damn like you could rap like what the fuck so <laughs> a couple years ago i ended up telling her like yeah that was never me like yeah, i ended I up playing her shit. right i stole that <laughs> shit that was gucci yeah. so basically i've always wanted to rap damn right i ain't gonna lie that's why i took his shit and yeah. acted like you know just to see how you know so three years ago like in around like august i just woke up honestly one day was like i'm about to go to the studio and just see what happens like you know yeah. how i sound like you know what i'm saying yeah. just see what goes so i had uh <clears throat> bro a song to uh you know the hot boy uh beat i need a hot girl yeah, 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 that was yeah. my first song so i went in the studio recorded shout out to smurf i recorded with him okay and he was like uh damn like this your first time yeah. like you know so when you said that oh you gassing me up so yeah, at that sure. point yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying i can i sound good i feel like i sound good so that's the song you just posted not too long ago on your uh on your page I haven't posted Hot Girl in a minute. That's oh, what's crazy. And you okay. know, they just told me like, I can just start back performing that song. I forgot about it, honestly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? As I'm progressing, I forgot about it a little bit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Even though it's my first kid. But... Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So basically, I took the song back home and my mom listened to it. She was really shocked. She was like, whatever you need, I back you. So yeah. if my mama backing me, that means she believe in me. She's not about to back no bullshit. Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, She's not about to waste like, her yeah, money. Ass, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they like, no, don't do that Go shit. No more. like, yeah. yeah. For sure. But ever since then, that's what made me. Yeah. yeah. I was I, like, okay, period. I, I think the first time I heard you uh, a couple weeks ago, um, I was just going through. I think you was mm -hmm. on uh, Detroit Rap News mm -hmm. on their page. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, damn, who's a, who's a, who's a chick? She's cold. She's nice. Thank you. Thank so you. So I went back and listened to it and jumped in. That's why I'm going to send her a message. She, she want to come on. She ain't mm -hmm. going to open it, though, probably. 
I'll no, and that's the thing. I always take like my requester like this and that because I be like, when I get there, you know what I'm saying? For sure. I will want to connect with like people who want to work. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, y'all yeah. fucking with me, so yeah. I appreciate that. That's what's making me go, or that's what's getting my name out there. For like sure. people that are fans of me, honestly, yeah. and it really be hard to believe that I really be having fans because yeah. it's like them. I'm really a rapper. Like people really know me from <laughs> yeah. rapping. For you sure. know. You be talking shit too. Thank you. Like, yeah. You say your mom heard it. Do do she be saying like, hold on, you shouldn't said that one. Cause you had that one line, you know what I'm saying? Dick might not fit, but I'll make it. <laughs> like, I feel, <laughs> the thing is, she be with the shit. She just be yeah. like, I mean, that's what's said. Sometimes, or like, even with dudes, sometimes be scared. You know what I'm saying? You know, moms might be like, "Hold on, you doing too much cussing." Like, all mm -hmm. right, you ain't don't listen to this at all, dude. The thing is, like, my I. <laughs> At certain songs, I'd be afraid to have my mom listen to because I'd be like, I don't know what the thing. But the thing is, she don't be caring. She'd be yeah. like, oh, that, or she'd be laughing. Or yeah. like, she'd be like, oh, they're like, well, like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you catch that person's attention. So she's like, if they caught my attention, like, that made me laugh at this and that, the next person probably gonna feel the same way. Or she just like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's what's sealed. Like, you know, it's just, sure, that's sure. what's, oh, yeah. No, no doubt. So, no problem. Yeah, no judgment, no problem. Like, none of that from her yeah. or nobody really. Yeah, well, uh, now Leah Bands, your, your name, was that your original name or do you have like something that was trash at first and you had to change? <laughs> so honestly my first name oh my god I can't even about to say this <laughs> so you know how they used to have like the little belts the LED belts yeah, 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 yeah. Lot. so I used to call myself the boss when I was younger okay so then I'm like thinking of rap names I'm like I'm not no so yeah. then before that people used to call me Lily Cash okay. so I'm like eh, I don't like that yeah, I don't Lili. like it yeah. so we just thinking the names I'm like I don't know what to like you know what I'm saying so I'm like yeah I forgot, I feel like somebody gave me the name Leah Benz or something like that, but I wanted money involved with my name because it's sure. been a part of me at that point. So I'm like, I want to keep that, but, oh, you know what? I feel like my niece's father mm. was calling me Benz. He mm. kept calling me Benz, so I incorporated that with my rap name. So I said Leah Benz. So I'm like, do that sound corny or lame? Yeah, like yeah, that? Sure. They're like, no, like that's that's cool. So I ran with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. hey, cause everybody got some trash names. Right? You, you was gonna be young Lily in this motherfucker, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Lili, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. No, but the, the right name, it gotta sell. It gotta be something that people can, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be appealing. Exactly. Like that. Cause your name is gonna be everything. I, what's my man's name? Mm -hmm. He had changed his name because he said he wasn't getting no no deals, nothing like that because of his name as far as like sponsorship or something like that. Uh, really? Murder, uh, damn, then Uncle Murder. He was saying like, mm. I can't keep going with Uncle Murder because... Who, like, that's like Pepsi, like, yeah, we want to fuck with you, Uncle Murder. Like, they ain't going to do it just because of his name. Just because of the name, exactly. Yeah, even though he might be a dope rapper, mm -hmm. but, shit, your name is kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? You so, know, right, yeah, fake. Yeah, yeah, I think, who was I? Well, I was Young Shot. Like, everybody was Young Shot, Lil Shot. Everybody had the Lil and Young in front of their name, for real, for real. So, yeah, as long as you ain't got no Lil Young, you cool. No, yeah, exactly, because <laughs> I see that a lot. I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't want to do no, uh-uh, I ain't doing yeah, yeah. that. So, you say you wrote to that, uh, I Need a Hot Girl. Like, mm -hmm. when you wrote that junk, did you know, like, a lot of people be on the show, they didn't know what bars was, like, until after the fact. So, did you know, like, your writing process, did you know how to structure songs, bars? You know, I had uh somebody around me, uh actually, T-Dot, shout out to him. He the one that helped me structure the song, like, because he was, uh you know, used to be rapping in rock bottom, you know okay. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, so, for sure, for sure. Um, got linked with him and he actually helped me like formulate the song you know what i'm yeah. saying like uh helping me with bars like you know how you do four bars at a time like just yeah. teaching me because i'm not i'm not yeah, no one yeah, coming yeah. into this shit i'm not like even youtube and shit i'm just thinking i'm about to go to the studio and just talk to the mic and just yeah, see what happened you yeah, know yeah. so uh he actually the one that helped me formulate the songs and have taught me mm -hmm. you know how to do like you know what to do how to do this the bar count like all that type of shit like that's yeah. the one who showed me that honestly yep. hell yeah hell. now speaking of uh, are, would would you um I forgot who I asked this question to but would you be okay have anybody ever wrote your songs for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, you you now you cool with that like mixing up or whatever or, whatever, or it just depends like because of course you get help when you're in the studio if you got a team around you mm -hmm. nigga might be like uh you should maybe take that bar out put this bar in or right you, that's that's that didn't sound you know what I'm saying right are you you good with that or are you like it depends on who it is um. If it's all depends on who it is because it, I, I wouldn't even say it depends on who it is. If I like what you're saying, yeah. I like it. I don't yeah, give for who sure. you are. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, I could take constructive criticism. Yeah. And if you think I should say like a different word or say it like, let me know and let me try and yeah. see like, you know what I'm saying? If yeah. I fuck it with it, then yeah. yeah. So the thing is, honestly, you know, it's a big controversy about, you know, getting your songs written or like yeah. people, rappers not really right. But I feel like I don't see what the problem is. Yeah. I ain't going to lie because... 
having you know all the mind like you could come yeah. up with some shit and now you got the biggest hit like you know what yeah, i'm saying sure, like sure, sure. i don't mind the help i'm not even about to hold you up. i don't mind it at all i don't yeah. look upon it at all yeah. i don't yeah like i said if you going to yeah because you know what I'm saying everybody can't be on their jay-z shit like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and right. like i said if you in that bitch or you know how you get presented songs to like okay somebody oh, you meet up they wrote this song yeah. okay they think you'll be straight on it yeah, like you know good. that yeah. that type of shit or like yeah. okay let me buy that song from you you yeah, know yeah sure. hey we all eat we all good you exactly know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly I think that's more of a nigga thing, though. Niggas too good, like, to... Because, you know, niggas with everything, dudes gonna be like, dog, they want credit for everything, so... Niggas don't want to say that they got help with anything. Exactly. Because I, I feel like I had learned that, okay, somebody writes your shit, this and that, la, la, la. Okay, they could say... You know, you, I ain't got nothing to do with it. This yeah. and that a lot until you blow. Oh, now I want my cut. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm the one that really. So, yeah, you, could, I, you, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like you, it's like either you can buy them out, like, okay, you pay a lump sum, you know what I'm saying? So, at this point, you, this is mine now. I bought yeah. it from you, or you could get a percentage, like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Whatever, whatever. So I feel like, um, yeah, they for sure uh try to be like, you know, like, you know, yeah. I wrote that, this, 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 this. like, damn, that. like, you know, what I'm saying, trying to get the credit, and it's just like it don't even gotta be like that, for or sure. like, you know, like I don't mind giving you the like, you know what yeah. I'm saying, acknowledging, you know what I'm saying. That's never the issue. Yeah. It's never the now issue. Let me ask you this though. Let me ask you this because uh, you say like working with people and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You know, what I'm saying you you attract the young lady. Thank you. So um. <laughs> Do you feel like working with a dude, a dude really want to work with you because he think you good and you cold? Or it'd be like, dog, I can work with her. I might be able to get on. <laughs> like, you, like, you're going to run into that for the show. Like, oh, she, she straight. Let me oh go ahead. Oh, my gosh. That's so <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like, I, it's so hard being a female rapper. You know what I'm saying? It is extremely hard just off of that or you can't even ask a nigga for like, you know what I'm saying? This and that because he won't like, yeah. if you don't want to fuck with him. Oh, he not he not helping you, yeah, or like sure. he not do. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that shit hard. It's <laughs> oh my god, cause they always want something out the deal, or like most of the time they want to fuck with you, yeah. and it, it makes it hard, cause you have the females that that they fuck their way up to the top, or oh, they yeah. that yeah. that Hell get yeah. certain shit. And with me, I'm not doing that. I don't give a fuck who you is, what it is. I'm not doing that. I I don't have a problem with paying you. I yeah. don't. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Just give me yeah. the price. We can negotiate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause they're thinking um, like, oh yeah, you know, I got this. I got this offer for you, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they act like they fucking with you. Then like, oh, you like no dude? Like you know? Uh, yeah. no, 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 uh, no, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's it's so hard dealing with guys in the industry because. They most likely look for. They want something out the deal. They, yeah. they, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Especially they, they think you look nice and just like, oh, yeah, let me see if I can go ahead and use this as a leverage. You know what I'm way. saying too. So to where ass is like, damn, do you really fuck with my shit or yeah. are you trying to talk to a bitch? Like, <laughs> which yeah. one is it? Cause for sure, for you sure. know what I'm saying. So it's what, it's really hard. Wait, to, what's the uh, what's the what's the wildest shit besides you know what I'm saying besides a pick? But what's the wildest shit somebody said to you in your DM just off your music and shit? Have somebody said some wild shit that you looked at like. Huh, what the fuck, man? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Has somebody ever said, uh, I do get like a lot of wild shit to be yeah, like. Yeah, of course motherfuckers sending that, that <clears throat> pic, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what everybody, I'm quite sure, probably <laughs> do the females, um, but that's why says some shit that like, you know, just using the music, but then it says some wild shit. Goddamn that. So the other day, this was like, <laughs> yeah, it kind of, it didn't caught my attention because then it was, he was trying to talk to me, basically. Okay. So the nigga was like, <laughs> They be coming with the wickedest pickup lines for you just to even <laughs> respond. Because yeah, he was like, damn, they was right. She was right what she was saying about you. <laughs> so I said the question mark. I'm like, what the fuck? Because oh, I just had a performance. Yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's yeah. like, I ain't going to lie. I was trying to get you. Stop, stop playing with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, stop. Yeah. See, that's what you don't do is play. Stop playing <laughs> with me. Because yeah, I, I did see you just performed at uh, Electra Elevation. Had uh -huh, going yep. on. Shout out to Kim yeah. for sure. Yeah. Always supporting. Uh, yeah. Try to get me on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, I peeked that. I peeked. I peeked. But yeah, that's funny. Cause I just can imagine like being a female. It got to be tough when you got niggas who just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Shit, trying to shoot his shot to see if he can or they smash say, okay, or yeah, I'm a rapper, like, let's link up. Like, okay, cool, you know what I'm saying? Then, yeah. So, uh, what, what about you? Though? Like, yeah, like yeah, you just, sure. like, come on. So that's what you trying to do. Trying to, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, yeah. be fucking it up. Like, I'm trying to work on that. <laughs> on that. Like, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of, you, you, I had this one chick. Y'all should link up, though. I think she dope. You dope. Her name uh, Detroit Diamond. You got, uh, uh, I don't know I if you like heard, heard her or not. Her. I feel like I have. Yeah, I feel like yeah. I have. She got some straight little songs. She's mm -hmm. straight. Like, I think that, yeah, that'd be, that'd be dope. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If y'all do it, just give me some credit. <laughs> no, fat yeah. yeah. For sure, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, Shy set this up. You know what I'm saying? No, she dope, though. She dope for real. Like, mm -hmm. if, if you, I'm a, uh, I'll try to link y'all too, for real. For sure, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, we talk about the studio. You know, with niggas, when they be in the studio, a
weed, like water, food, like what's some shit that you gotta have to make your studio session like legit you know what's crazy uh i don't mind liquor or yeah. the ganja you know what i'm saying oh, yeah. now <laughs> the thing is i like to be in the studio i don't like people in my sessions yeah. for some reason and i know i gotta get up out of that as i elevate you know what i'm saying is it like nerve or you just don't want anybody fuck fuck your session up it's like this tiny like it's someone to do with the nerves and like if i i don't like fucking up in front of people so get out my i don't want yeah. people in my session unless yeah. i only people that is in my session is the engineer yeah. and um I have my best friend Joe come with me. Okay. And I might have another person. And I have to approve. And yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. like when... Time yeah, can't yeah, just... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I have to have a... Uh, probably like, even if like wine or like... You made me probably go get like a little pint or something. Yeah, like, you know, just sure. to like get in the mode. Like, get the feeling yourself yeah. and really get to talking this shit, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah you want to get in mode and, you know, this and that. And I usually have my sessions at night. Because I feel okay. like at night is like... I yeah, don't know, it's yeah. night. I got all night to come up with some... You know yeah, what I'm sure. saying? Yeah, for sure. Get your energy right. Exactly. What's your... So. What's, your uh, what's the go-to drink? I know you was all camera. You said about tequila tequila um you What's know the, the green box patron has my heart <laughs> but i do drink a nejo you know any type of nay nay for ryan gonna yeah. lie down julio <laughs> patron like yeah. uh, See, 42 should... but usually i get like if i can find a nejo i would get like yeah. you know uh some of nejo Man, that's tequila. Tequila. That, that junk go straight to my legs get my shit weak i know i'm drunk when my legs get weak i get the new really? legs like god because what dark it, I don't like how it sneaks up on you. It's yeah. too smooth for me. I like for it to hit me so I can know what I'm dealing with. What type of drunkest I'm dealing with, yeah. you know? Yeah. Dark be ooh, yeah, sneaky. Yeah, I can't mess with that white. That white, I'm good. I'm, <laughs> I'm sleeping on the white or whatever. So, no, so you just uh, you just put our project not too long ago called Bands. Mm -hmm. So, we always do like a top five, top three on people's stuff. So, I did a top three on yours, and you give me your top three and why. So, my top three on there is Bands, mm -hmm. uh, Do It, and Outro. <laughs> so what's your three? Honestly, they're probably the same as yours. I ain't about to hold you up. Or if it's anything, it's bands do it and yeah, <sighs> probably all in, okay. all in and nasty bitch as an honorable mention. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah. An honorable. You be talking shit though. Like I said, thank I let, you, thank I let, you, thank I let, you. I to you last night mm -hmm. uh, on that. Uh, I think the last post you made as far as music. Uh, it was like a, a freestyle damn near. Yeah. Like one minute, one minute mm -hmm. freestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, yeah. She talking shit for real. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank got, you. Got thank dark skin, you. Uh, dark skin bars. <laughs> 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 no, for real. So I, I got you one thing. You know, saying I was listening to your first uh, project, your second project, and it's called "Talk About the Bars." So I. I say a bar that you say, and you tell me what you was talking about. Okay. So on uh, on outro, you say I would have been with you if I knew it was your last night. I just broke down and I cried about you last night. Mm -hmm. Well, who, I know of course it was about somebody else's personal shit. Like if you don't mind talking about it, like what mm -hmm. what happened in that situation. <clears throat> so that uh was about my best friend Duran. He had passed three years ago from oh. a uh, car crash, car okay. accident. You know what I'm saying? And that's been my best friend since first grade. Yeah. So I was finally able, strong enough to talk about that. That was the hardest song I had to record. I ain't about to hold you up, For like, sure. cause it was so much emotion. Like I feel like that was my first song that people really got into knowing me, like the real me. Sure. Cause that's why I named it Bands, cause I want to display of my life so at that point shit talking what i got you know what i'm yeah, saying so i yeah. made outro like okay outro gonna be some deep ass shit that's gonna fuck them up yeah you know <laughs> so yeah i was talking about uh my best friend deron and uh um in that bar for sure okay. like really be like the first half honestly because yeah, yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. you say you, you finally got the nerve i mean not, i ain't saying nerve but Able to, to talk to about able the rap without, without breaking without down. Without breaking down, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Can't say certain. Like, it was it was honestly harder. Like, you hearing your voice crack. Like, because you know it's about to come. You know the waterworks about yeah. to come. Now, now, did he know you was on verse rapping? Because you said you started, like, three years ago. Was was he around to know that you was about to start? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Nope, nope. Yeah. Um, for, nope, it would happen because he had died in, uh, what, February? Yeah. No, March. He died a month. Exactly a month after his birthday. His okay. birthday was February 3rd. He died March 3rd. Yeah. So I started rapping that August, September. So no, yeah. he did not, unfortunately. Okay, and I feel okay. like, did he ever knew I was trying to rap? Like, I don't even, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. For nope, sure. he wasn't around. Nope. All right, Mr. Rest in peace to him, man. Yes. Now, in that same song, you said, Laura, I come to you because I need to vent. Do you feel like sometimes, like, in certain situations, like, 
with, with especially with, with black people, like niggas be too scared to talk to people about their problems and shit like that or what they going through and shit. Niggas be saying therapy is for crazy people and shit. Like sometimes you be feeling like you ain't got nobody to talk to when it's like some tough times or shit, little situations. Uh, the thing was, I used to talk to my best friend. You okay. know what I'm saying? That yeah. was my like he knew everything. Like what sure. I still like just be as if he's still here. Like damn, like what like what would he do? Like what would he tell me yeah. to do? Like you know what I'm saying? Like what? Please direct me in the right direction. But I feel like honestly. What people don't know what I mean, I am very emotional, okay? Yeah, I'm a yeah. cry and a drop of a motherfucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. dime, so, like... When last time you cried? Tell me, like, what, 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 what was the last what, time I cried? What, what, what's the last movie that made you cry? Ooh. That's some shit. What was the last movie that made me cry? Yeah, last I'm movie. To... It could be a movie, TV show. Shit, because I don't know. What, what's the last movie that made me share a little tear and shit, a little oh, thug tear? I'm trying to think, right? Uh... <laughs> yeah, everybody got them thug tears. The last movie or show that made me cry. I was just talking about. Oh, <laughs> that almost a song. Oh my god. <laughs> so okay, so <laughs> the Great Gatsby. Okay, okay. Cause you know, okay, I forget the main character name. Um, you know, he's he was a big. He had money. You know what I'm saying? Had this yeah. whole mansion. He bought the house just to get a bitch attention. Yeah, for sure. To get her attention, she lived on the other side. So he bought the house. On the other side, like you know what I'm saying, the house is like this. Yeah. So basically, he doing all this to get this girl attention. She finally, she he throws all these extravagant parties yeah, yeah, yeah. to get her to, to just see if she had come. Yeah, to just sure. see if she had come. She finally comes. Her name is Daisy, but I can't think of the uh, his name is Gatsby. The nigga last name is Gatsby. Yeah. I can't think of first name. Yeah. So basically, that happens a lot. The nigga ends up getting killed off a of mistaken identity. God damn. And he ends up he gets shot. Yeah. Looking at her house, yeah, yeah, gets yeah. shot from the back, and he falls to the pool. And I'm just like, damn, like, yeah. and like the, <laughs> the like, funeral yeah, came. Nobody came to his funeral except for his close friend. I'm just yeah. like, damn, that really like, yeah, cause it, it really was fucked up. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm just yeah, like, yeah. damn, why? And then you chasing after this bitch. Duh. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it be though. Niggas be doing everything. Yeah, just to, that just it really chick, fucked nigga. me up. Yeah, I ain't gonna like nigga break Big ass match. Like, you don't see me. You like, know damn. what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, throwing all this part just to get her attention. Yeah. And she's still with the nigga. Damn, damn. That's messed up, man. Yeah, that yeah, that fucked me. That was the last time I cried. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Now now speaking of uh relationships on, on the song nine PM, that's for your first project. Uh huh. Yeah, you say I never missed a court date when uh when you went to trial. So how if a nigga get locked up and you with him <laughs> <laughs> How long how long can you go? Waiting as far as like his uh. senses, like a year, you know, I ride with you for a year. You know, so a nigga at 10 bid, like, you know what, well, you know, I, I, I write you. Right. <laughs> so, okay, shout out to Break Him Down, Joe. That's my best friend. That I actually made him get on that song because I feel like I want him to rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. that's why I made get on that song. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like the longest. <laughs> so, I would tell you. <laughs> you like, so, as soon as you want that bitch, I'm out. <laughs> like, I'm good. I feel like the longest I probably would be able to wait, honestly. Cause it's probably honestly like probably like a, a year and yeah. some change, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I say that because <laughs> um I, I've almost done it before. That's the yeah. motherfucking thing. Like yeah. I have what well, the thing is the nigga was in there for like what some months, you yeah, know, some sure. months yeah. I think, and I was a down ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I was really a down bitch. Like yeah, I was a down bitch, and I waited for like uh maybe like five months, maybe you yeah. know. Yeah, that sure. type of thing. I never had to wait uh, like a year this and that, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? But I was at every court day, you know, like I said, yeah, like a right real there. bitch do. Yeah. I was there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like the, probably the longest I wait is probably like a year or some change. Yeah. It depends on how long you have, though. Yeah, yeah, if you say sure. you, you're doing like a five year bid, like, well, you know. This is how I mean when you come out, I ain't gonna lie. If I'm with somebody, I'm with somebody. Not... <laughs> this is how I mean when you come yeah. out, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like. <laughs> the nigga should tell you like you know just yeah, go on about your yeah, I ain't gonna yeah. you know what I'm saying then, like, I know a nigga like me I'm in jail and shit locked up like and I'm like damn when, when is she fucking on Craig or Dante and shit she said <laughs> she's gonna hold me down yeah, we just right, in right. that shit right there and there like you ain't gotta even worry about that shit bro. exactly so I feel like the, the guy should offer like before I even say anything yeah. like you know just go ahead like yeah. I still the thing is I still put money like I still look out like you yeah. know what I'm saying cause For the sure. thing is I, I was probably fucking with you like yeah, you know what I'm saying so I feel like the nigga should offer to let me know. Like, yeah, let me go. Yeah, let me go. Yeah, let me go. Yeah, let me go. Yeah, Don't let thing. me say it. Yeah. Just say it. Do your thing. Do your yeah. thing. I'm in this bitch for a minute. And shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so uh, shit, the last one you uh on, on on what is it? Leave a message. 
Mm -hmm. He said, uh, the way he did it, bitch, it really turned me to a savage. So if a dude do you bad, is it like fucked up for the next nigga, dog? Like, oh, I was just saying this other night to my friend Christine. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like, um, cause you know, then most times with chicks, you know what I'm saying? They ain't got, they ain't got, you know, happy weight and shit, cause they ain't relationship. They ain't uh -huh. got. That's but it. But then as soon as they break up with the nigga, you know, niggas still be going on on the page to see how they doing. Like this motherfucker <laughs> right. got abs now. <laughs> She in the gym. She eating healthy. She changes. She cut her hair. Yeah, she, she, she spiritual. Like <laughs> she give a fuck about the Lord. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, God, but you ain't giving a damn about the Lord when we was together. You just eating Popeyes all day. Like no, for <laughs> for real. Dead though. ass. So there you do. That, do that make it fucked up for the next nigga just because of how he did you dirty? It honestly, it can. But you can't bring that passion <laughs> onto something new because that ain't got yeah. nothing to do with that person. And sometimes sure. you will unintentionally bring yeah. it into Hell not yeah. knowing. And I have done that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, um, so, okay, basically, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Okay, first, my first real relationship was together with this man five years, you know what I'm saying? Broke up. At that point, that you turn, it wasn't about that. That yeah. was really just me just, just talking, talking shit. It really yeah, wasn't yeah. about no situation, but. It has, you know, been in my life, you know what I'm saying, to mm -hmm. her ass. I'm thinking, like, I'm going off of the shit you have done, what I have taken from you, you know what I'm saying, what you did. Yeah. And even what you did, I'm not retaliating because that's just not me. Yeah, I'm not sure. getting out of character just because you what you cheating or you doing this and that a lot. That's just not me. So yeah. I'm not about to get back at you by doing that because that's just ain't me. So when I'm ready to finally leave your ass, that's when yeah. I'm going. That's when I'm not looking back, buddy. I ain't about to hold you <laughs> up. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I feel like um, going into, like, new things, it was, like, certain things I was seeing that reminded me of, like, I used to. So at that point, y'all, basically, y'all can't trick me now. Like, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm, I'm, I'm on y'all now. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like he... Uh, he kind of did fuck it up a little bit, but yeah. now it's like um, I'm, I'm way over it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Over it. You know the situation. Him. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. to where as I don't let what somebody else do affect what I got going on or sure. with another person because they ain't got nothing to do with them. Now if yeah, you yeah. show me, you know what I'm saying? You just y'all yeah. just keep proving me right yeah. at that point. Yeah, you yeah. know? But yeah. I still don't let what somebody else like fuck it up for somebody else because they ain't got nothing to do. Yeah. do yeah, that yeah. Because it's almost like people. a chick who got like daddy issues and be expected. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Be, uh, Magic Mike and this motherfucker just <laughs> make everything right. <laughs> 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 no, real? yeah. No, for real. So, yeah, that shit crazy, though. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess, I don't know. Is niggas like that? Do you think niggas like that? Like, they could bring some baggage to that shit, though? From, yeah, I guess we all fucked up. Like, past trauma, like, like I said, you could un you know, unintentionally right. bring it on. And, like, yeah. until that person say something, you'd be like, damn, my bad. Yeah. Like, I ain't me. Or, like, don't sure. be bringing that old shit over here. Hell like, yeah. you know, yeah. Hell yeah, because you already know. Yeah, you right. Because if a nigga get fucked over by a chick, he, he questioning that chick. She on her phone too long. You know what I'm saying? Who that? Who, oh, who? yeah. What you yeah. like? <laughs> who you texting? The fuck like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, man. Good. Um, rest in peace to those, those 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 days I was on some crazy shit, though, with my phone and shit. <laughs> you know you're doing dirty shit, and you just taking a shower with the phone. Like, everything. You butt naked you with the phone on your hip, though. Like <laughs> You have to take your phone everywhere. Or, like, you know what my thing is with guys? I see, I feel like every guy do this day, have their phone face down. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. And, why? <laughs> if you don't have nothing to hide, why? Or they be like, I ain't got no case. You know, I want my screen. Like, to stop playing, I want my camera again. Stop, come on now, run out on another bitch. You Man. know what I'm saying? Like, what you about to say, dog? I, just, <laughs> I don't know why they do that. It, I, I feel like that's the first red flag for me, yeah. a little bit, just a the little bit. Down. I don't really let it affect me, but it be like, fine. I, I'm saying, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm gonna comment on it. That's just me. I'm gonna yeah. say what. Oh, like, you know, what you, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, what the hell? You sweating over there, though. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know what you gotta say, though. All right, look, I gotta say this, all right? All right go ahead. I turn my phone over, though, right? Mm hmm All right, but it's only because, like, I do a lot of shit, and this bitch going off all the time. And if you in an intimate setting, with that shit blinking and flashing all the time, that shit is annoying. And, and I, I try, get that as well. I'm mm -hmm. to spend a moment with you, then I'm not yeah. trying to be I'm, distracted. So exactly, yeah, and yeah, I get so that, that's, that's that's too. That's my reason. I think it's just a habit for me, because I ain't gonna lie, I do that. But I don't be fucking around with nobody like yeah. on some dirt bad shit. But I think it's just a habit. I don't know, it's just a habit. But then I be thinking about that shit when I'm in the car. Sometimes I purposely like let me make sure I flip the bitch over. I just always put it. On Cause the I feel like when y'all around people, it's face down. But when y'all by yourselves, oh that motherfucker is yeah, up you, and you throw that bitch like. <laughs> you know, I be like, like that bitch up and stuff. Noted. All right. You know what I'm saying? Man. Like, but I do get where you say, okay, you flipping that because you in the intimate state. Like, I do get that angle. Yeah. Like, towards, I put my keep my phone in my purse. Or keep it on vibrate because my attention is on that person, yeah, you know, and it's not like sure. I'm not on nothing. It's just 
Yeah, yeah you, you know, to go ahead I want you to have my undivided attention. Yeah, I don't want the phone to be a distraction. You know what yeah. your favorite color is and all that shit, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How your mom's and shit. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, with you doing music, you know what I'm saying? I, I know you're trying to push this shit. You still kind of new and fresh and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like be like opposed to being in a relationship because you're trying to focus on the music? And like you said, you get niggas all left and right probably trying to get on doing this. Mm -hmm. So, you like, as far as fucking with a relationship, I'm good until I'm in a certain position or like, how 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 is that? Like, you think it'd be hard to be in a relationship with somebody pursuing music? Not if they support you, no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they right there with you, like yeah. helping, uh, giving you ideas, like you know, yeah. so like you know, showing up to performances, like you know, I don't think so unless you make it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. I feel like um, it doesn't stunt you from going far. Mm -hmm. And yes, you are gonna have niggas calling. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah. You and your partner gotta know you gotta have tough skin and you yeah. have to trust me to know that yeah. I'm declining them. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm just business. Like niggas can't get yeah. my attention. You know what I'm saying? I feel like so it's really that type of aspect. But I don't For think sure. honestly being in a relationship will um or would hinder somebody career, like rap career, like I said, especially if they support you. Like yeah, you I can see if they though. didn't yeah. I, if they don't always oh, gonna be get mad because you got a show late at night shit like You know that. what yeah. I'm saying? Like or you in the studios and they like you know what I'm yeah. saying? You could be in the studio all day or like all for night sure, type shit, sure. you know? That's shit, that's vice versa. That's like with dude and then you need a chick like you know I'm doing this like mm -hmm. either calm down or come with me. Hey, okay, if you that, just come on. I, yeah. I don't have no problem. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm not hiding nothing. Sure. So, like, you can be there if you want to, my yeah. nigga. But if you want to <laughs> stay at the crib and I call you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's cool. So, I feel like it could work. I think it can, honestly. Yeah. It can. Yeah, it yeah, has. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, with this, uh, with this last project, like, how you feel as far as, like, the response being? You feel like you getting enough, enough support from the city? You feel like there's more you could do? Do you feel like you need to maybe move outside this, uh, outside Michigan to, you know what I'm I ain't about to lie. Everybody tell me I have to move outside to Michigan to yeah. pop. They tell me I have to move outside of the city of Detroit yeah. to pop because you know Detroit. Y'all are some harsh critics oh, around yeah. this motherfucker. Sure. You don't know what I'm saying? Y'all are harsh critics to her ass. I feel like, but the thing is, to be in this business, you have to have tough skin. Yeah. So the thing is, I would love to. Uh, it's nothing wrong with it. Like I love my city. It's yeah, just for sure. For sure. I would love to be somewhere else as yeah. well, or like you know what I'm saying, back yeah. and forth type shit. But I feel like um, I think I begin. I've been getting a great response from my tape. You know what I'm saying? That's my second one. Yeah. You know, uh, I begin. It was supposed to have been out, mm -hmm. but you know, got held up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Out of my control at that point. But um, I begin a great responses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Paying for like you know promotion, this and that. You know, yeah, getting sure. a lot of buzz from the songs and you know video. Like I think I've been. I have, but I always feel like I could do better. Yeah. I always feel like I can, you know what I'm saying? I always feel like I could do better. Oh, yeah, I yeah, always yeah. feel like that, yeah. yeah. Always, always. So when, when you, uh, you gonna let this motherfucker marinate for a little bit before you put another project out, or you gonna try to do something like before the summer, for a year? Probably before what? the summer out for sure. I yeah. wanna, um, put out another one, actually, uh, some shit I had did out in Cali. Mm. So, that's what I wanna do. I wanna put that out. Probably gonna be like a little four e song EP, or... Yeah. I might just keep releasing singles, you know? Yeah, I don't know sure. yet, but I think I do. might want to do, like, just another tape before the yeah. summer is out, you yeah, know? For sure. Now, I mean, what's some, what's some shit that you hate that you got to do as far as being, like, an artist? Like, you hate, you know what I'm saying? You say it's your first podcast interview, so you can't say you hate interviews and shit because you mm -hmm. know, so you're the best podcast in the world. But other than that, like, what's some shit? <laughs> we hear it all. Yeah, what's some shit that you hate that you got to do as far as, you know what I'm saying, music? Like, you hate performing, you hate... This, that, like, the thing is, I, I, it don't really feel like a job to me because I love it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if anything with performances, of course, like I get like anxious. I get, you know, my heart is in my ass because yeah. it's like I'm nervous. I don't want to fuck up to where as I can't really indulge. Like I don't smoke or drink before a performance because oh, yeah, sure. I need to be fuck in my right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to mess up. I'm <laughs> so focused. I'm a perfectionist. I don't want to mess up. So I have to make sure I do my job to where it's right after. Oh yeah, give me my shot. Like yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like we can sure. get to it. But um, I feel like the it, I might do. I get a lot. I need to get out the city. They say yeah. you have the look. You got you got everything. You just need to get out the city because people feel like Detroit is like a, a kind of a crap in the barrel it is. city. You, got you so many know, motherfuckers who who do music, who do different things, clothes, who mm -hmm. do this, and, and 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 instead of being like, all right, that's, you can still show love to a nigga even though y'all doing the same shit. 
You know what I'm saying? Because if you got confidence in yourself and you putting your shit out, you gonna pop off. But niggas be too mad that maybe motherfucking you you rapping, but Belinda. The motherfucker, yeah, you know, she gonna yeah. pop off before you yep. pop off. Mm-hmm. So a nigga don't want to show that love. Or they compare you to another rapper. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she trying to be this. But yeah. she t- and it be like, it's like no, I'm, I'm my own person. You know, <laughs> like, I'm yeah. my own person. I'm no yeah. nothing against anybody. It's just no, I'm my own person. So whereas, like I said, they, you know, Detroit is a little bit of a crab yeah. in a barrel city. And like I said, y'all are tough critics. Yeah, y'all niggas, are. You'll be performing. Niggas be a crowd like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just it's like, mad oh my shit, gosh. Like, it, it's so wicked. It's wicked to us. Like I say, everybody always be like, I feel like once you get out the city, you gonna blow. You gonna pop. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. Then come back to the bitch. They about, like, she ain't really live in Detroit. <laughs> Niggas gonna be hating. She wasn't from, she from uh, fucking uh, Ohio or some okay, shit. Okay, like, you know yeah, saying? that type shit. Hell yeah. So what's some shit, what's some shit, you know what I'm saying? Now you got, you got two EPs out mm-hmm. or whatever. What's some shit that you would've change your approach as far as how you came into the game that you that you look on now like i would did this different i would have came in earlier or you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. what's some shit that you would have done differently how you started honestly i probably wouldn't have done anything differently because mm-hmm. it's all a learning experience you know For like sure. trial and error type shit you know i always yeah. say that trial and error so yeah, yeah. i probably wouldn't have done anything different what i did just say the other day since I'm coming off as this money persona. People think they could tax you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I deal with that on a daily basis. So yeah, yeah. I just, I told my mama, like, I should have came yeah. out as a regular ass motherfucking rapper because people think, oh, Benz yeah. and this and that. Oh, I'm about to tax this bitch. Or like, yeah, she, you know what I'm saying? I seen the videos and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's honestly probably the only thing. But I really joke about that type shit because I, you know, but honestly, I don't think I probably would change nothing. It's all a learning experience. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's trial and error. Like, I'm Hell learning yeah. as I go. Hell yeah. Now, uh, is it what what's what's some uh what's some goals you got for yourself as far as like short term and like for the long run like um well the short term goal I really just kind of accomplished a little bit was being more active on social media like you yeah, know you posting gotta be, yeah. gotta be. um and the thing was I. I couldn't stand it. I hate being on social media. I hate when somebody keep posting this and that, but I have to be that person. Yeah, for so sure. I'm trying to keep my, basically keep my momentum up and keep, um, keep throwing it in people's faces. Like, whether yeah, you like I'm, me or not, yeah, you going yeah, I'm here. You going y'all going to have to let me in a dough some yeah, way, yeah, yeah, somehow sure. y'all going to keep seeing me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Towards y'all going to have to tune in or listen to a song or two. Like, damn, okay. I keep seeing her. Like, Hell yeah. let me do like, you know what I'm saying? Let me see yeah. what she's talking about. Like, you know, and I get that. Uh, from a lot of people like they have done that before yeah. me too then they was like damn like you sweet as hell yeah, like yeah. you know they like finally said, gave Mike, me the chance when I saw basically. you on that Detroit rap news mm-hmm. like they post a lot of rappers and you like, you could hear on the first word that come out of their mouth like oh I'm good yeah uh-huh. you know, she, I'm like damn she talking shit her shit kind of straight let me go Thank ahead and tap yeah, in uh-huh. I want yeah. shit straight yeah cause you know a lot of chicks you got I like your delivery too how you you know what I'm saying thank you thank you I thank like you, your thank whole you, delivery yeah, shit yeah. so yeah and I ain't just saying that cause you on the show cause motherfuckers be on the show like you I mean, I try not to pick no whack people. I had a couple whack motherfuckers on the show, but for the most part, I'm kind of like, I'm good on my percentage mm-hmm. as far as good rappers on the show. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed because you know a couple of them niggas was <laughs> trash. You that bitch trying to find bars to quote like, damn, I can't find nothing. <laughs> hey, man, you had a nice beat right there. <laughs> That's about it, man. That haircut was kind of, you had the waves and shit, cuz. I miss my hair. <laughs> so shit. But uh, what's, what's some, what's some to, to me, like, what's some shit that, uh, that you can look at and say like this is a definition of a good career as far as you as a rapper like and and, and 10 years from now you'd be like bam like this defines a a good career in your eyes like it, it could be motherfucking uh notoriety it could be uh i got certain albums out i did this i got a deal like what's your definition of a like successful rap career shit uh the thing is like I will probably try to stay independent as long as I can unless, you know, QCP and them come <laughs> knocking at the door or duh, like, you know what I'm saying, yeah. CMG, uh, like that, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like what would define for me to shit, um, I'm performing that motherfucking bit, you know what I'm saying, like, like rolling loud yeah. type, like, big, yeah. no, yeah. yeah, like, that type shit. And the thing is, I'm known to where as, okay, I'm getting, I'm really making money off this shit, but I have to cross over to the, to that side yet yeah, or like yeah. not to the pop star side yet. you know what i'm saying you know how yeah, like yeah. you you know you you making your money mm-hmm. you know you this and that 
Yeah, but sure. you just you just not there yet, you know. Yeah, hell so yeah. So the thing is, if I don't get there, but I'm still doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm still on the big stages, like yeah. I'm still I'm making my money, like y'all still paying me to come oh, on this bit, yeah. Twenty thousand, like coming, you know what I'm saying? Twenty thousand to come through, fifteen, this and that, la la la. It's like, oh yeah, like I'm, <laughs> she, come yeah, on, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, shit is going. Hell yeah. So they happen, I'm bring up this interview, like yeah, remember she was on my shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So what's some what's some shit you want to do? You got anything you want to do outside music or right now you just focus strictly on the music? You want to do some little acting shit like The thing was, I've always wanted to be a model yeah. when I was younger cuz I was always like just skinny and tall, but the thing was they said I wasn't tall enough. Yeah. So I said, fuck it, I'll rap then. If that's the case, like something gonna pop off, you know what I'm saying? So I said, fuck it, I'll rap. But I, I, I want my modeling acting for sure. I feel like people say a lot, you should get into acting because I'm very animated. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I said, yeah, I agree. <laughs> somebody get me on a screen, you know, Tyler Perry, 50, yeah. somebody, you know. For I feel sure. like I could, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you gotta start doing a little uh, bullshit, a little but, shit on, on, you know, on your phone, posting that shit, like, doing yes. some manny roll, just start crying. Yep. <laughs> Tyrone, I loved you all my life. You know what I'm saying? Breaking, <laughs> breaking down that shit. Though. For real, yeah. So the, I wouldn't mind getting into modeling and acting for sure. Yeah. That's something, yeah, I would love to get into. Now, I know you, you, you know what I'm saying? Back back when this show was out, you know, you might be an extra young, like making a band. Mm -hmm. You remember making a band? With mm -hmm. Diddy? With so, yep. Yeah, so I always ask people this, like, you making a, a one album project is you and four other people on this one album. One who who will be your four people besides including yourself. Mm hmm So I know you but Chris oh, Brown. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like uh future the uh All right, You know who ooh, see that's tough shit. Cause I feel like I'll I'm already thinking about niggas. Yeah. The nigga rappers. I ain't gonna lie, I'll probably be feature S E S T G. Okay. Big thirty. Okay. And uh, yeah, you tell she's super thug life. <laughs> uh, who else? I'm trying to think, more. like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, probably um, city girls, okay, bet yeah, that's super thug, yeah. thug, 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 Damn, I was just talking about them the other day, too. Uh, who was my childhood crushes? I know I was in love with... Fuck. Who, had your, who, who posted was on your wall? Your screen, your screensaver and shit, niggas. Right. <laughs> shit, who was... Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Because it's not like the usual. Like, how you know how you usually go to be like, oh, bye, wow. Well, that yeah, was yeah. never me. I'm sorry. That yeah, was yeah, not me. Who else? Everybody was like a Marion and shit. Right, Marion. You had what? B2K, kind of. You had B5. You yeah, had. I'm B5, goddamn. Go back and shit, dog. Uh, shit. Who? Okay, I'm not. Uh, see, ooh, I, don't, I don't even want to say that. Childhood. Right, okay. I want to know what you said. One, it was for like a split second. It yeah. was for a split second. It was a Bobby Valentino. I think the nigga <laughs> had curly. Like, he looked a little yeah. bit foreign a little bit. He looked a little Hell bit yeah. foreign, you know, like just a tiny bit. Yeah. So don't judge me off of yeah. that one. So Bobby that was v. one. <laughs> Probably was Omarion. It was Omarion for sure. Oh, no, 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 no. It was J Boog, the same group. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Him that for sure. And, um. <laughs> Bobby <laughs> J Boog, Bobby Valentino, yeah. and um. Don't turn around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's all. laughs> and uh. Damn. It was somebody else. You know the crazy? I used to like uh, Mike Epps when I was a kid as well. I used to like Mike Epps. <laughs> Mike Epps. <laughs> this was, yeah, Mike Epps, Bobby V, and motherfucking J Boog and shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, right. Yeah. Give, give me your uh give me your top three uh movies. <laughs> okay, top three oh Law Abiding Citizen. Okay. Um The Devil Rose Prada. Okay. And Shrek. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me your top three rappers. Your personal your right personal now. top three. It could be all time, right now, whatever. Right, I'm trying to think of like right now. Okay, I think I'm gonna do right now, and of course, our toxic king. 
Future. Okay. Um, it's not in no order as well. It's not yeah, order. Yeah, yeah. Future. Um, damn. It's a lot. Probably gonna say a little baby in this mud. The thing I don't really do fuck with little baby, but yeah. oh, you know who I do like uh young nudie. Okay. I fucks with nudie like. I, gotta, I, gotta, I don't even know who that yes. is. Yes, oh pay. you, yes you have to. Yes, he's. I, I fuck. Cause the thing is, I'm very big on beats, so I love his beats, and I do. I fuck with how he rap. Like I fuck yeah. with young nudie. So future nudie and uh. Estg right okay. now. Yeah, yeah. I fuck with what's that though? With the little niggas, I fuck with dirt. I fuck with dirt. Niggas be clowning <laughs> G Herbo. But the, I fuck with her. I fuck with her. It's yeah. a, a couple songs. Because you know yeah. they always say he off beat. Yeah. The niggas, I, I fuck with her. Uh, who else you just say? Uh, uh, Dirk. Dirk. I fuck with Dirk. I, I'm just I becoming a fan that. of Dirk. I ain't gonna lie. I'm just becoming a fan yeah. of Dirk Me too. For real. Me too. Like my little brother put me on all these Chicago niggas and shit. And yeah. yeah he won oh, up. I like, uh, have you heard of uh, Love Foe? No. Gotta get here. Yeah. That's why I need Tune young people. Tune into that, man. Yeah. Like, I fuck with you. Yeah, for sure. Give me your top three fools that you just go. I gotta have it. Top three shit. Uh, I gotta have it. I have to have it. I feel like I eat this type of shit. Uh, ice cream. Yeah, what kind yeah. of ice cream though? I like Neapolitan. Or really like I really fuck with chocolate. Honestly, yeah. chocolate. Or oh, oh, mint chocolate chip. I That's hate, my shit. Uh, I hate that. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. really? I hate that. I hate that. I love, and I just started to love that and butter pecan as I got older. See, butter pecan always been like a grandma type of uh, ice cream. Yes, I always associate that with old people. I'm not even going to hold you up. I did until I got older, and I'm like, oh, this shit is good. Like, you know (laughs) what I'm saying? So I probably would say like ice cream, uh, something like, you know, with rice. Like, probably like like chipotle type bowls. So, you know what I'm saying? Like rice, that type shit. And, um, shrimp cocktail. Oh my okay. god! I fuck anything shrimp. I love shrimp. Goddamn shrimp, anything. With the lemon. Oh my yes, I love shrimp cocktail. Everybody know, I love my shrimp cocktail. <laughs> I get it every time I go to like a restaurant, like grocery store. I'm getting shrimp cocktail. Yeah. And honorable mention my brother's pancakes because them bitches slap and oh, I yeah. can't make I was, them. Yeah, I want some dog ass pancakes. <laughs> Once you learn how to do that flip without fucking it up, you you good to go. No, for real. Yes. It's all in the it's all in the flick of mm-hmm. the wrist. Like, <clears throat> you gotta do it, bitch. Quick as hell, dog. <laughs> for real. <laughs> now, last thing. We always end it off. Hopefully you got one. A story. High moment, a drunk moment. Or both. Like a moment when you was fucked up that you like, you was on your ass. Oh shit, that's a lot. Okay, I, had, I got two of them. So when I first, I was supposed to have been drinking and I was underage, but I was with my sister up yeah. at uh, Michigan State. Okay, oh, yeah, I yeah. was drinking dark. That's why I don't <laughs> fuck with dark. This is my first yeah. experience where I was drinking Crown Royal and Hennessy. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and you was fucking up, yeah. And... Um, I couldn't move. Yeah. Cause you know it sneaks up on you. When we went to a party, well, I got back in the car. I was in the back seat. I couldn't move. Yeah. I literally, they had to. Uh, they was texting my friends from my phone as if I told them to do it. Cause I, I really couldn't even talk for it. I couldn't move. <laughs> no. I was stuck. Had you stuck? In I was stuck and like I, I was hot. So I had to have like the window down, and I was just stuck in the drive home, which was like an hour or so. I was asleep. I was knocked out. The stand back didn't help me like nothing. I was <laughs> stuck. Back. And then another time, okay, that was drunk so high when I was really high. Um, see, when I get real world high, I feel like I'm drunk. My head get to like the thing. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so I yeah. need to, um, I forget shit when I'm high. Yeah. I forget. So the things I probably forgot. Yeah. I, I'm high. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when I get real high, I forget things or like, I'd be like, what you say again? Like, you know, yeah, yeah that you, type of shit. Yeah. yeah. Cause if I'm high. I'll be thinking like I said, I told, I said this shit on previous shows. If I'm too high, cause I don't smoke. I just mm-hmm. sit. But if I do smoke, my brother be smoking. Shout out to the class of my head. I'll be looking at you thinking what you thinking about me. That's not how I get like, dog, I, I don't need to do this. Or like, you think about like, you think deeper into shit, like, yeah. the most random and stupid and that's shit. That's what a, I do. You can't be in a fucked up relationship at the time because you be like, hold on. Last Monday. <sighs> this this don't add up. up. He that said mother- this, but yeah. no, they don't, it don't that add up. Came home at 555. Okay. You get home at 535. Okay. Motherfucker for was real. Parking lot got smashed real quick. You know, no, okay. <laughs> no, for real. You gotta bring these niggas is sneaky. <laughs> they get your man. motherfucking ass. You gotta be on their ass. That's funny as hell. <laughs> Shit, man, I appreciate you coming on the show. No, no man, for I, sure. I enjoyed y'all. Seriously. Appreciate you chopping it up. Whenever you yes. got some new shit coming out, come on through. Talk about it. Whatever mm-hmm. it is. Open door and shit. He, he was a little late, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and that's another thing I'm working on is my promptness. Yeah. Like I'm just like I know I'm you like, fucking lying. Like I'm, like I'm like yeah, we got to spin the rule ski. <laughs> jeez, and the thing is, I knew I wasn't spinning at all. I knew all was coming. It just yeah. getting. Oh my gosh, it's yes, that's good. a yeah. It's like we forgive my you apologies. Shit. Yes. Yeah, we talk shit with you, jeez. <laughs> right? Jeez. But no, what's some shit you want to leave people with? You want to leave them with some good words, like. What's a final sentiment you want to leave people? Like, stay in school. Don't do drugs, even though we got friends talking about drugs. Um, <laughs> no, for sure, stay in school. The thing was, uh, I just got back into school, like, a couple of years ago. Oh, I had, uh, you know, started out of high school. Mm. My mom, you know how parents be like, go to college, and that a lot. I went and failed. <laughs> I took a class oh. and failed because I wasn't into it. <laughs> wait, wait, I wasn't ready to go back yeah. because I was so ready to get out. I've been in school my whole life. I'm so ready to get out. Yeah. And at this point, this is a choice. I don't have to go. <laughs> So I went back when I was ready to go back. So mm-hmm. I would tell anybody, honestly, go back in school. You know, get that, have something behind your name. Because what you got to know is if this right, it's going to work. Yeah. But if this rap shit don't work. Or you might get tired of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like just being something like just in the music industry. I have something to fall back on. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. So I will leave off with, yes. Yeah. School. I would say anybody go back to school. It's the best thing you could do for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Even if yeah. it's community, I'm at community college, y'all. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? You could go. With... It's nothing wrong with it. You can do it. You know what I'm saying? I would tell, like I said, anybody to go in school. And you can really do anything you want to do. Don't let nobody, you know, fuck with your mind. Tell you you can't or like the negative. You doing something in negativity because y'all don't understand the negativity I get. Yeah. Or like from this rap shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, of course, it'll bring you down. Like you adopt yourself, but yeah, sure. keep going. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? You you gonna have that. Regret. Regardless, no matter what you do, oh, yeah, you, oh, yeah, you can't yeah. please everybody, you know what I'm saying? You see, Jesus couldn't please everybody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I feel like, please don't let what nobody say affect what you do on your ground, where you're trying to get to, because they in the background watching and they gonna steady watch you they gonna always have something to say yeah for Nothing, sure no matter you could be the motherfucking number one humanitarian yeah, yeah, yeah. they gonna say something shit, be the number one motherfucking janitor in that bitch they gonna be like oh nigga he only got to that bitch cause he be <laughs> doing extra shit right. he, he gonna be showing off squeezing out all the motherfucking mops and shit <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you know. So I would. I, that's why I would say, like, just don't let nobody deter you from nothing. Do that shit, yeah. and that should make you go even harder to show. Like I, I'm doing this shit now. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Most time they saying that they ain't got shit going on. They yeah, no. not doing Niggas shit. Niggas hate off of anything you do. Exactly. Yeah, it's a fact though. So where can they find you on social media? Where can they find the music? You know what I'm saying. Give, give so them okay, yeah, my music is uh everywhere. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Apple, Tidal, Spotify, For Amazon sure. Music, la la. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Look me up, it's there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have Instagram, Twitter, I have TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never focused on TikTok. Yeah, I see the thing. I have to be a TikToker now. You know, I gotta yeah, learn yeah. that shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, you know, Leah Bands one, L I Y A H B A N D Z one. Okay. And um that's for all platforms. And like I said, look up Leah Bands and for like sure. I, it's, it's it's up there, it's everywhere. And you can for find sure. me anywhere, I'm there. Hell yeah, well, sure. Come I'm, find me and stream I'm, it. I'm happy to be your first uh podcast interview. Yeah, it's exciting. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave people with like, hey fellas, if you know you about to do a bid, man, just let it go, bro. <laughs> you're gonna be in that motherfucker, you're gonna be in that bed stressed out and shit, dog. <laughs> Mad as hell, though. That four years gonna go by real long. So. <laughs> There I go. Hopefully she be single when you come home, bro. Stop <laughs> <laughs> for everybody, man. Episode 75. Out.